So you're considering making a move to Wesley Chapel? Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you 10 things that you need to know before making the move to Wesley Chapel, Florida. We're going to cover topics like the cost of living, things to do, best neighborhoods, and of course, the crime rates. So you can make the absolute best decision when it comes to moving here in the Tampa Bay area. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. I'm also a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group, where we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the Tampa Bay area. All right, so you're considering making a move here to Wesley Chapel, and you're probably wondering where to start. Heck, you and Dr. Google may have become best friends over the last few months from all of the searches you've been doing, and watching videos like this on YouTube are extremely helpful. And I gotta tell you, I remember what this feels like. A little over four years ago, me and my family decided we were gonna move to the Tampa Bay area, and we didn't even have videos like this yet. You know, we wanted to make sure that we could find out those things that were most important to us. And in today's list, I'm excited to share this with you because this is the same set of criteria that I used to make this move. And my guess is it's going to be pretty important to you. And I'm sharing this with you because in the last two years, because of this YouTube channel, I have spoke to hundreds, almost a thousand at this point, people just like yourself who are considering making that move. And we have compiled this list and it was almost identical to my list when I started making the search. So we want to share these topics with you today. So let's get into these topics specifically. That way, you know which ones are going to be important to you as we go along. Our 10 topics today are going to be the cost of living, the best neighborhoods, things to do, the best school, crime. We're going to talk about traffic, weather, jobs in the area, health care and overall quality of living. Now the cost of living here in Wesley Chapel is relatively low compared to other areas in Florida, and it's also more expensive than other ones too. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's break down some numbers so you can get some perspective because places like Miami and Naples and Sarasota, even Orlando, definitely can be on the more expensive side. Well, I won't say expensive, but they can cost more. The cost of living is definitely more in those areas than in Wesley Chapel, but there are spots in Wesley Chapel where you can spend as much money as you like or definitely on the luxury side of living as well. So let's get into some of these numbers. Right now, the median home price is right around $400,000. Now, I can't stand median. That drives me nuts. It infers that it's the middle and I sell houses every day. And I gotta tell you, we are far more focused on average because that's real life. So I wanna share some numbers with you. The average condo or townhouse is gonna be starting in that 320 range. And then the average single family home is gonna start somewhere in the high four. So probably like 470-ish. Rent in the area for a two bedroom, two bath is right around 1900. And things like groceries and overall shopping, uh, you know, things that you are accustomed to are actually probably on par or a little bit below the national average. So that's something to keep in mind. Some of the top rated neighborhoods here in Wesley Chapel include Wiregrass Ranch, Estancia, Seven Oaks, Ashley Pines, and the Northwoods. You're gonna find housing like townhomes, condominiums, and single family homes. And there's a lot of new construction or newer homes here in the area, which is very desirable when it comes to living here in the Tampa Bay. There's so many things to do, including shopping, dining, activities, and this list could be a mile wide and it could literally be its own video. So I do wanna tighten this up, but let's talk about some of the shopping. If you've seen any of our previous Wesley Chapel videos, you know that Wesley Chapel is known for all of its wonderful shopping. You've got the premium outlets in Tampa, you've got Wiregrass Mall, which is great, and then you've got Grove and Crate up to the north up there. Some really, really good shopping. Now, in terms of amenities or things to do in the area, there's a lot, starting with the giant seven and a half acre man-made lagoon out in Epperson. This thing's incredible. There is tickets available to the public. You don't have to just live in the community to have access to it. So I love it. The theme out there is bringing the beach to the backyard, and that's awesome. 
But let's say that that's not your thing. Well, you've got the sports complex at Wiregrass Ranch. That thing is amazing. Soccer fields, basketball, volleyball, all kinds of things going on around there. There's parks galore. And just to the south, you've got the Tampa Zoo, Bush Gardens, and Adventure Island Water Park down there as well. And hey, if you're a local, I would love to know what are your favorite things to do here in Wesley Chapel. Do not hesitate to put that in the comments below. The viewers would love you for it as well. We appreciate the contribution. Wesley Chapel is known for having some highly rated schools. It is made up of a really good mix of public schools, charter schools, and private schools. There are actually three STEM schools in the system as well. That stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. There are three great high schools. You've got Wesley Chapel High School, Wiregrass Ranch High School, and Cypress Creek High School. All right, local parents, I'm calling out to you now because this is where people who are considering making a move to the area could really use your help. Please let them know what your experience has been with the public school system or the charters or the private schools in the comments down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And hey, while you're down there, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and clicking that little bell, if you've gotten any value out of today's video, that would also be very helpful in getting this out to other people who are looking for this information. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty when it comes to traffic. And I think anyone who's ever lived in a city with at least 60,000 residents is probably familiar with some traffic and congestion most certainly. It can get a little bit busy on the weekends too, so keep that in mind. You know, the main roads here are State Road 56, giving you direct access to I-75 and I-275, taking you into downtown Tampa. Now, when it comes to weather, most people are coming here because they absolutely want to take advantage of all that sunshine. And here in the greater Tampa Bay area, we get over 220 days of sunshine every single year. It's incredible. The average temperature in Wesley Chapel in the winter is gonna be right around 65 degrees with low humidity, it's absolutely incredible. And in the summer, when it comes to July and August, you're gonna be looking at the low 90s. It's right around 90 degrees, but it's definitely gonna get warm. One of the nice things here when it comes to weather is Wesley Chapel is far enough inland where you are insulated, so to speak, from what is happening on the Gulf Coast. You can still get stronger weather, of course, but you know it's roughly an hour drive from there to Clearwater Beach. I'm not a weatherman, I'm just sharing with you. It's far enough off the coast where you don't have a lot of those problems. So just keep that in mind when you're considering Wesley chapel when it comes to jobs you've actually got a lot of options in the area here right now the unemployment rate in wesley chapel is approximately three percent definitely lower than the national average tampa bay as a whole is right around 2.7 so they're rocking and rolling You've got healthcare systems that are a great employer here. You've got the school systems. The University of South Tampa is just to the south. There are also an abundance of defense contractor jobs. You've got Raytheon, Honeywell, CAE, and Northrop Grumman, just to name a few here in the area. And speaking of healthcare, you've got great options here in the area as well. You've got Advent Healthcare Systems, and they've got a beautiful hospital in the area. You've got Baycare Healthcare Systems. You've got Orlando Health, which is just breaking ground on a new facility there in Wiregrass, just to name a few. And you've got the Moffitt Cancer Center just to the south of you, and you're only a short drive away from Tampa General as well, which is a world-renowned hospital. Let's talk about the things that nobody wants, but everybody wants to talk about, and that's crime, okay? One of the questions I always get asked when you guys reach out to us is, hey Juan, what is the crime like? Is this a safe place? I wanna live in a safe area. And I went to Dr. Google, I typed it in, is Wesley Chapel a safe area? It took me to great websites. There's a, a website that I encourage you to visit. It's called Neighborhood Scout, which pulls in FBI data. And what it shows is that Wesley Chapel is a pretty safe area overall. There aren't any places in the country that are crime free, so to speak. So just go do your research. What I always tell people to do when it comes to looking at areas in their safety, because I'm not allowed to tell you whether something's safe or not because I hold a real estate license. But what I always tell people to do is go look at your area, okay? Measure your stats from the Bureau against what you're looking at, and that'll give you a really good frame of reference. But I just encourage you to do that. That's a great way to vet that out. But when the FBI is saying it's a pretty safe place to live overall, I think that's a good indicator. There are also gated communities here if you do want to take that extra step. Estancia is one of those neighborhoods we spoke about earlier, and they do have gated communities. There are many more, but I just wanted to give you an example. And all nine of those things add up to 
number 10, which is the overall quality of life here in Wesley Chapel. And as you can see, there is a lot to like about the area. You got top rated schools, low crime, you've got good cost of living, lots of activities and amenities, lots of outdoor living to take advantage of. And these are the reasons why people like yourself are reaching out to us and are really wanting to call Wesley Chapel their home. So I hope today's video has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of our contact information is listed down below. Heck, there's even a calendar where you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you. And hey, if you want to DM me on Instagram, that's cool too. Lots of people do. I hope you have an incredible day. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.